All right, here's my first attempt at making a actual video showing how to do my wood carvings instead of just a slideshow of the different phases of the process. Uh, you always want to start with an idea of what you want to do and you want to have a drawing to use as a template to make your job easier instead of just whittling on a square piece of wood and just trying to figure your way out from there. So what I always do is I get a piece of paper then you grab your piece of wood and you want to outline your wood on actual paper. That way you know how much space you have to actually draw the picture because if you go over that line there's no wood to carve you're going to be missing actual pieces of the carving so once you've drawn the lines showing where you can actually draw in between you'll end up with something like this just picture inside the lines that's actual size of wood then what you want to do is you either want to make a copy of this picture to use a template because sometimes just regular paper like this will tear real easily or you can just use this one and cut it out and what you end up with is something like this so you have your outline you also want to do this on the back as well to make it easier to get your rough form so what I normally do is I start with this particular knife here it's a very small knife it's actually on a uh, swivel so it spins as you use it so it's very good for actually cutting along and get your sh uh, shape then after that you want to go along with a little bit larger blade this one's called a skew chisel and you just do the same thing you go along the outline of your drawing go all the way around it on both sides and then you'll be able to start actually chipping off all this excess that you don't need and normally what I use for that is several different blades but this one here is just a standard chisel blade works real easily you just want to come in from the sides right up to the line and then all this extra wood here just pops right off and you do this from both sides and it comes off pretty easily uh, and then you'll be left with now this will be a little confusing because it's a different picture but you'll be left with something like this that'll be your rough form so a little bit more rounded sexual shape of your drawing and then after that you can actually start and trying to start do some detail and always start with the face that way you can work the body around it and for ones with a a, a lot of detail in the face I always tend to start with the nose because as you see here you want it to be able to stick out but you want it to be natural looking and not just two-dimensional so this is pretty much the same process as getting the outline is you just go along with the small knife with the beveled edge and you just go around the outline and then always want to make small cuts you just cut part of the face off until you get the desired depth and you can work from there